Michigan and Michigan State both hit the road this weekend, but the competition level they will face will be much different. The 4-1 Wolverines earned a crucial win at home last week over number 14 Iowa, but pardon me if I still keep the champagne on ice after another anemic performance by their offense, scoring just 10 points. They now head to Champaign, Illinois at noon to take on a lowly fighting Illini squad that is 2-3 overall, but only has two Big Ten wins in the past three seasons. If there is an opportunity for Michigan's offense to find its groove, this is it. Illinois is allowing 38.7 points per game in their past three contests, which were losses to Minnesota, Nebraska, and Eastern Michigan. Although their offense has been able to move the ball effectively at times this season, they might be without starting quarterback Brandon Peters this week. Remember him, Michigan fans? It doesn't matter who is behind center for them, though. All three of us predict a blowout victory for the Wolverines. Aaron has them winning 38-10, Andrew has them winning 27-9, and I believe the Wolverines will come out on top 42-10. Meanwhile, the 4-2 Spartans continue a three-game gauntlet against top 10 teams. They traveled to number 8 Wisconsin this week at 3.30 p.m. MSU hung in early against Ohio State last week, but was not able to recover after giving up 24 second quarter points. Allowing over 300 rushing yards is concerning, especially since they are about to go up against Heisman Trophy candidate Jonathan Taylor, who is second in the nation, averaging 149 yards on the ground per game. The Badgers are also number one in total and scoring defense this season, giving up 179 yards and 5.8 points per game. They will look to stay unbeaten and take another bite out of the Spartans, who will be fighting to stay alive in the Big Ten race. None of our writers believe MSU can pull off the upset, however. Matt believes Wisconsin will win 24-17, Kyle has the Badgers winning 17-14, and I believe it will be a little bit more of a lopsided game with the Badgers coming out on top 28-13. Thanks for watching, let us know your final score predictions in the comments below, and we'll see you next week.